What's up guys, it's the only ninja drawing aviators on a superhero hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja YouTube channel. This is the last episode of our comedy tutorial breaking down, whoop, almost dropped it, but breaking down this combination right here. So if you want to learn the full combination, definitely check out the other parts first because that's how a series works. But regardless, every part in this series actually stands alone on its own. So if you don't want to learn the rest of it or just want to learn this segment, that's fine too. But one thing I do strongly suggest is actually checking out the first episode because the first episode isn't actually a segment. It's just learning this finger roll right here. So if you're not comfortable with doing a finger roll, definitely learn it first because it's actually a part of every segment of this combination. So definitely check that out. I'll leave links at the end of the video if you want to do that. And if you are somehow still needing a comma after watching the other three segments of this series. Don't worry, I got you. Check out the links down below where I will link these specific versions right here as well as some other options for you and a discount code that you can use Ninja 10 to get 10% off at checkout for these commas or nunchucks, a sword, a bow staff, literally anything they have there. So uh, you're welcome. Now with that said, let's get started. So you just finished by catching with your left hand and wrapping around. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna clear with your left hand, just swipe it across and punch with your right hand. So again, clear, punch with a front stance going towards your punch. And then you're going to switch stances and switch punches going to the opposite side. So you just punch to this side and then you're just switching sides just like so. For reference, my wristbands are always on my right arm. So if you need a right or left reference, there you go. I got you, I thought about that too. I didn't actually think about that, but like I'm gonna use it, so here we go. So once you have your two punches, what you're gonna do is a, a palm down finger roll, just like so. It's just a simple palm down finger roll. Again, if you haven't learned finger rolls, go back to the first episode. We're not gonna spend a lot of time on that because you should already know how to do that. But once you do your finger roll, you're actually gonna make a big circle with your hand, and this is gonna be where your next catch is with your fingers. Now, the way you do that, once you hit your finger roll, you make a big circle with your right hand, and you only hold your comma with between your thumb and your and your hand, just like so. It's only between your thumb and your hand, and your other four fingers are going to be what grabs the other uh, comma, just like so. Now, for the release, all it is is just like letting it go. It's not even not even tossing it, not spinning it. You want it to stay as horizontal as possible. No spin, no no rotation, just a simple release. So when you do it all together, you got your punch, your punch, your finger spin, and your release. And again, just like so, I'm catching it with just my fingers. Now, personally, I think when you catch it and you extend all your arm all the way down, it makes it look better. And the longer you can wait before catching it, the cleaner it looks as well. Again, that's just my opinion. If you wanna do it more instantly, you can. If that's your style, that's just, you know, if you came here learning, running to learn from me, I assume you wanna learn my style. And so I'm trying to help you out. You're welcome. But with tricking and XMA, it's very creative and very up to you and how you wanna do it. So if you wanna do it differently, that's fine too. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not incorrect. Now our last toss is gonna to be a challenging one because it's actually a toss, spin, and catch. So first you're gonna to wanna to learn how to spin first. And that seems pretty obvious, but just in case, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to use your arms to whip yourself around, but also you're not keeping them out long. You're, you're, that's not what you want. Your arms will slow you down. You wanna pull your arms as tight as you can, just like that. Now, when you turn, you also gonna wanna spot with your eyes. So right now, I'm looking at the camera. So when I spin, I, as soon as I can't look at the camera anymore, I find the camera with my eyes again. Except for you, you're not gonna do it with your camera, you're gonna do it with your comma. As soon as you toss your comma in the air, 
you're gonna wanna spot it with your eyes so you can catch it again. So once you get your catch all together, you're going to toss, spin, and catch, just like so. And you can finish however you want. It's completely up to you because it's creative. That's kind of the whole point of tricking and XMA and all that stuff. It's so you can be creative and have fun with it. Now, if you wanna learn more combinations, definitely check out these other combinations. I did Zoro's two sword style inspired combination and a bow staff inspired combination and all the other kinds of things. So definitely check out the uh, links at the end of the video. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out the Patreon. And my name's DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja and I'm out. And guys, if you like this video, definitely check out the first episode of this series because that's how a series works. And if not, check out this other episode that YouTube thinks you'll like too. So either way, I'll see you guys in the next one.